awesome animals. Hello everyone. Today we are in Germany and we will be talking about the Doberman Pinscher. There's so much information about this breed, so we decided to present the most interesting facts. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It would really help us. The Doberman dog breed was given its name after Carl Frederick Louis Doberman, the tax collector who created the breed. The term Pinscher means riding dog in German. It is unclear as to why Pinscher was added to the Doberman name, but scholars believe it is due to the early breeding of another Pinscher breed to the Doberman. Doberman did not take a lot of notes on his breeding process, so no one is exactly sure what breeds went into making the Doberman Pinscher. However, some possible dogs believed to be in the mix included the Rottweiler, German Shorthair Pointer, Weimariner, Manchester Terrier, Boschron, Great Dane, Black and Tan Terrier, and Greyhound. The Doberman's DNA suggests a strong connection to German Shepherd's ancestry, meaning that the same genetic makeup is used to protect and herd livestock runs through the veins of the Doberman. When the breed was further developed, the American Kennel Club has stated that additional breeds were used. These include the Black and Tan Terrier and the Old Short-Haired Shepherd. Other breeds that were potentially included in the breeding process are Great Danes, Great Hounds, and Pointers. Despite much research into the subject, how Doberman first created this breed and what developments have taken place since is still known. Unlike some dogs that have been hanging around since ancient times, Dobermans are newer to the scene. The breed originated in Germany and became to take form in the early 1880s, making it less than 150 years old. Since these dogs were bred to be personal guards, they need to be ready to engage in fights. Some owners would remove weak spots, the tail and ears, which can be pulled or torn. Today, most Dobermans are no longer used for fighting purposes, but there are some health issues to concern about. Doberman tails are very thin and sensitive, and can break a lot easier than other dogs. Additionally, floppy ears prevent air from easily flowing into the ear canal, and can cause ear infections. Some owners will dock these appendages simply to avoid future entries. But many see this process as cruel and unnecessary, and certain countries, including Australia and the UK, have even banned this practice. Purebreds will only be of these colors, black, blue, red, and fawn. Blue is a diluted faded black that has a bluish tint seen, especially in bright sunlight. There are rust colored markings that are very noticeable above each eye and on the muzzle, chest, and throat. There may also be rust heel on legs, paws, and below the dog's tail. Some have a small white patch on the fur of chest, although in the show world, any white markings are considered to be undesirable. In many countries, all white Dobermans are not allowed to be registered. Ironically, the first Doberman pincher to be registered with the American Kennel Club was an albino named Chibach. When she was bred, all of her puppies were pure white, and many believe that all albino Dobermans today are descendants of that litter. Dobermans are extremely athletic and intelligent dogs, so no task is out of their league. That includes the job of a lap dog. Dobies have been used for a variety of jobs in sports, including police work, scent tracking, coursing, diving, search and rescue, therapy, and guiding the blind. The 70s had their share of hockey films, but 1972, the Doberman gang takes out Campy to the next level. The movie, as the trailer voiceover complains, is about six savage Dobies with a thirst for cold cash that leaves banks bone dry. The dogs are all named after famous bank robbers, Dillinger, Bonnie, Clyde, Pretty Boy Floyd, Babyface Nelson, and Ma Barker. Eating their processive barks and growls, these trained dogs manage to make off with heaps of money. Does that concept seem silly to you? Consider the fact that there were two sequels, and talk of a remake as recently as 2010. Dobermans were used in both World War I and World War II, assisting soldiers. These war dogs performed various duties. They were trained to find and rescue wounded soldiers, detect enemy locations and mines, act as messengers, sentries, and guard dogs. Unfortunately, there is also mention that dogs were used in the war as suicide dogs. These dogs were packed with explosives that were remotely detonated once the dog was near an enemy tank. It definitely shows the cruelty, wastefulness, and sadness of war. In World War II, the U.S. Marine Corps had their own K-29 corps known as the Devil's Dogs. Although not the most flattering name for a heroic group of dogs, these dogs received specialized training. The messenger dogs delivered messages, ammunition, or medical supplies. The sentry dogs were trained to alert handlers of any enemy strangers approaching. These dogs were prevented any ambushes as they stood watching protecting their sleeping tired soldier handlers. Of these marine war dogs, 25 died in 1944 in the Battle of Guam. In honor of these dogs, a memorial was created on the island of Guam in the South Pacific. 
14 dogs were killed in action and others died from exhaustion, tropical illness, heat stroke, accident, and anemia from hookworm. All were buried in Guam in what is known the First War Dog Memorial. A Doberman named Kurt was the first canine in the 1944 Battle of Guam during World War II. Kurt ran ahead of the troops to warn them of the approaching enemy soldiers. The brave dog saved the soldiers but was killed by an enemy grenade. Kurt became the first dog buried in the United States Marine Corps War Dog Cemetery. There are two types of Dobermans, the European and American. These dogs look similar, but slight differences set these two dogs apart. Many would say the better of the two is in the eye of the beholder and depending on which kind you prefer, is the best one for you. European Doberman is bred with the sole purpose of work in mind. Therefore, these dogs are larger in size and muscle tone than their cousin from across the pound. If you are looking for a dog that will protect your home, this is probably the one for you. While they are not as sleek as the American counterparts, they are not bred for show. American Doberman is bred mainly for the show ring. While some might use them as protection animals, they are not as powerful as their friends back in Europe. They are smaller in size and have a sleek look about them that makes them perfect for the show ring. If you are looking to win trophies and awards in the United States, then this is the dog for you. But no matter which one you favor, both of these dogs are lovely and have something to offer. While one might be better at certain things than the other, each one is a really good to own. There's plenty of room in the spotlight for both of these animals, and I'm sure that they will continue to shine for many years to come. When it comes to extraordinary dogs, South Africa seems to be in no short supply. Joining Jock of the Bushveld on our list of legends is Sower the Doberman Pinscher, the world record holder for the best tracking. Sower's story, however, didn't have the quiet legend start as you expected. Born in 1917 at the South African Police Dog School in Irene, Sower was of sound breeding, but was teen too nervous for police work and very nearly didn't make the cut. It took careful and patient training by Detective Sergeant Herbert Kruger to improve his skills and the two soon became an incredibly successful crime-fighting duo, led by Sower's astounding tracking ability. Today, almost a hundred years later, Sower's world tracking record remains intact. It is a testament to the search and rescue abilities of the Doberman breed and at a point, a pride for Doberman lovers all over the country. Studies suggest that the type of dog breed that you choose can tell a lot about your personality. Doberman pinchers are very serious, intense, and determined. Owners are leaders versus followers and love to plan and organize a situation. People who live with Dobermans are said to be very organized and go about achieving their goals in life. The Doberman is bred to be highly active for a whole working day and able to perform tasks requiring a high degree of athleticism. If the Doberman is not allowed to develop and exert his physique, he will suffer. His body will suffer, as will his mind. The Doberman requires an open area where he can run in top speed. This usually requires a Doberman owner to have a responsibly sized yard enclosed by a fence. Apartment homes with small yards and homes with yard space taken up by a pool or large garage are not suitable homes for the Doberman. Overall, the Doberman Pincher is a strong and high energy dog that requires between 1-2 to two hours of exercise a day. This should include a daily walk at a brisk pace or off leash for at least 30-45 to 45 minutes. In addition, they need other purposeful high intensity activities and play to tone their muscles and tire them further. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time. Goodbye!